Hi everyone, it's Wendy from the Lexington Senior Center. And this short little video is just an addition to our uh, pre fall presentation called The Ups and Downs of Falling. We discuss several different things um, regarding fall prevention, how to fall correctly to help reduce the risk of injury should you feel yourself falling. We talked about how to maneuver on the floor if you can't get yourself up off the floor. We talked about how to get up off of the floor, um, different ways to get up. And so I'm gonna cover just a couple of those things in this video just so that you can practice or uh, look back and get additional information. If you want a copy of the ups and downs of falling, the actual written presentation, I am happy to email that to you. If you wanna give us a call at the center, 859-278-6072. Um, and ask for me, Wendy, and I will be happy to send you a copy of that, or you can email me. That email address is wjet, J-E-T-T, -T, at lexingtonky.gov, and I will send a copy to you um, so you have all of the information, okay? Because I'm just gonna cover just a couple of things here in this video. The first thing that I wanted to cover is kind of some different ways to maneuver yourself on the floor. We've had people come and say, I fell and I just couldn't get myself up and I didn't know what to do. I was just laying in the floor. I, 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 my mind went blank. I, I couldn't figure out how to get over to my phone or I hurt my knee and I couldn't crawl. So here's just some ideas on if you do find yourself on the floor with an injury um, on how you can maneuver yourself around the floor. So it, it looks kind of silly, some of them do. But, you know, in that situation, it doesn't matter. The whole goal is to get yourself somewhere so you can get up off the floor or to where you can contact someone to get some assistance. Okay, so the first one that most people think of is crawling. So if I'm down on the floor, I can certainly crawl on all fours. So my toes are tucked, I'm on my hands and knees, and I can crawl on all fours. Now, I know myself, just in the last few years, my knees have become very tender and it hurts to be on my kneecap. Or we have many participants who have artificial knees and it hurts to be on the knees. So you can actually tuck your toes and crawl on your toes in your hands and maneuver yourself that way. Okay, so you can crawl on the hands and knees or you can crawl on the hands and the toes, all right? Let's say you can't get up on your knees at all, you're down on the floor. So you could crawl like a snake, okay? Or uh, when I was young, we used to play army man and we would crawl this way on our bellies. So I'm crawling like a snake, I'm pushing with my toes, I'm kind of dragging myself on my belly, okay? So there's another way that you can maneuver yourself should you find yourself on the floor. Let's say I don't want to be belly down. It, I, hurt my, or I hurt my ribs when I fell. So you can work with your belly up so you get in a back line position. So with my tummy up, I can use my feet, either knees up or legs extended, and I can push myself head first across the floor and maneuver myself around and work head first as I move. Or I can do the opposite I can use my hands and feet and I can pull myself feet first. So I can go head first with a push or I can work feet first and kind of work a pull. Let's say none of those are options for me. You can roll like a log. So if I lay myself flat and I just roll like a log, roll myself over and stop. Okay, kind of get my bearings, roll myself over and stop. My arms can be at my sides or my arms can be over my head. But I can roll like a log. Okay, we can also do a crab walk. So that's more in this position. And I can work so that I'm more upright, where I'd shown you before where you're laying on your back, now I'm more upright. So I can work with the tush down or up, so I can walk like a crab, head first or feet first, 
or I can pull or push myself, feet first or head first. Okay? All right, so those are several ways just to maneuver yourself on the floor. Should you find yourself down on the floor and you can't get up, or you need to get yourself over to the couch to help yourself get up, I'm sure you can come up with ideas on your own, okay? But those are things that you could actually practice at home, and I would do that in a safe environment where someone is there with you, you're not home alone and you get stuck down on the floor. If you want to, you can come into the senior center and practice in our fitness center. We have several people that practice getting down and up off of the floor in the fitness center, um, and that's a safe environment. We can help you with that, all right? Um, the next thing that I wanted to go over is just how to get up from the floor, all right? A lot of times people will say, I don't even get on the floor anymore because I don't know how I would get up once I got down there. So we don't want you to feel that way. We don't want you to be scared of getting down on the floor and not being able to get up. That's something you should do every single day at least once. Get down on the floor, lay down and get yourself up and stay in that practice where you can get yourself up and down on the floor. Um, okay, so I will show you a couple different ways that if I find myself on the floor, so if I'm on the floor, and I just showed you when I got up before, um, you can do what's called a spin to get yourself up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cross my leg. Now I can cross both legs, or I can tuck one leg under, whatever, whatever works for you. But the leg that is tucked under, or is tucked under closest to my body, okay? So this leg could be extended, but if I bend it, it's the leg that's closest to my body. I'm gonna spin in that direction, okay? There's a couple things I can do when I spin. I can go to all fours, so I can spin in that direction and just get myself on all fours, okay? And then I'll show you how to get up from there. Or, I can spin in that direction, and as I spin, I can push my hips up. So I'm gonna spin, and I'm gonna push my hips up. Now that my hips are up, I can walk my hands back, so that I can go to my thighs and roll myself up, okay? So I will do that one more time. So this is, this is where we thrust the hips in the air, the leg that is closest to my body, and I'll do it with this leg extended this time. So I'm gonna roll in that direction. So I roll, and as I roll, I start to push my hips up. My knees don't even touch the floor. I walk myself back, drop my tush a little bit, put my hands above my knees, and push myself up. Okay, so let's say we're gonna go to the all fours position. And this is the way most people get up off of the floor that I found. So if I'm in a seated position and I'm gonna go to all fours, I'm gonna tuck that knee under, I'm gonna roll over, and I'm simply gonna go to all fours, hands and knees. So once I'm here, I could crawl over to the couch and help myself get up. But let's say there's, there's nothing that I can help myself get up with. So from an all fours position, this is where your range of motion comes in, where you need a good range of motion to get up this way, because I've got to swing the leg forward. So now I'm in a low lunge position, okay? So now I've got to have the mobility here in my hip and my knee to get that leg forward. So that's why this is sometimes challenging for people, particularly when you're not using a couch or a chair to assist yourself to get up. So I've got the leg out front, I'm gonna tuck my back toe, I'm gonna shift my weight into that front leg and push myself up, okay? This is something that you can practice in the fitness center and practice with each leg and kind of find out what your stronger side is. Um, I will do that once again. So I'm in the seated position. I'm gonna to spin to all fours and I'll work with the back leg this time. So I'm going to swing my leg out and get that range of motion where that back leg, my knee and my ankle are aligned. I'm gonna tuck my back toe and then I'm gonna tell myself one, two, three, push and I'm gonna push myself up. So I tuck my back toe and I work one, two, three. I push into that front leg and I can stand. Okay, so let's say you've got a chair nearby and you're gonna crawl over and use the chair. Okay, and that will be much easier to get yourself up. So I'm on the floor. I'm going to spin towards the leg that is closest to my body and get myself up on all fours. 
I'm gonna crawl over to the chair or the, or the couch. So now I can hold on and get my leg up. And then I can use my upper body as well as my lower body to push myself up. So I push up to a standing position, okay? Let's say I can't get myself up. There's just no way that I'm gonna be able to get up on my legs like that, okay? So I'm gonna show you another way that you can actually use the cushions off of your chairs and your couch. You could grab the cushion off of the couch and get it up underneath my knees. So now I can get a rest for my knees and have a little bit more cushioning. And that might be all I need to be able to get my leg out, okay? Or let's say I can't get on my knees at all. So I've had to work over here. I've had to move myself over to the couch or the chair. So here I am and I can't figure out how to get up. So I can take those cushions and actually build myself up taller. All right, so I can get the floor and raise it more towards the same height as my couch. So I can get myself up. Maybe I'm still a little bit too low, so I get another cushion and get it up under there. All I have to do is lift myself onto those cushions. So now I'm taller. Now that couch doesn't seem so, so hard to get up on, all right? So now I've built myself up so I can use my upper body and my lower body. So if you have the range of motion in your shoulders, you can work this way, but most of us over a certain age will not be able to use this particular position. You wanna go more to the side, all right? So that you can lean into the couch and push with that forearm. So I'm gonna tell myself on three, I'm gonna lift my hips up and get myself up on the couch. So I'm gonna work one, two, three, lift up and slide myself up onto the couch. All right, so I'm trying to elevate the floor to get myself up closer to the chair or the couch. You wanna make sure that if you are gonna move yourself into a chair that you're moving yourself into something sturdy. You don't wanna go for a kitchen chair that's gonna slide away. You don't wanna do something on wheels, you know, any of that rocking chair. All of that is just going to increase your chances for another fall risk. Um, you would be surprised how, how much ingenuity you have when you're put in a certain position where you're trying to take care of yourself and get yourself up. So you might come up with other ideas that you could use should you fall. One of the best things to do is to kind of practice what you would do, have a plan in your head. Okay, if I'm at home and I'm by myself and I fall, What's my plan? What am I gonna do if I'm in my bedroom? What am I gonna do if I'm in the kitchen? Where is my phone? What is going on? And have that plan and go through that plan at least in your head, if not physically. What am I gonna do if I can't use my legs? What are some options for me? So have a plan. You can even write that plan down and just review it every once in a while. And that in and of itself will help reduce anxiety that you may have about suffering a fall in your home, okay? I hope these little tips helped you a little bit. Like I said before, if you would like a copy of the Ups and Downs of Falling presentation, just give us a call at the Senior Center and I'll be happy to get it to you. All right, thanks. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.